Back everyone, the Fort Gordon Dinner Theater will present Beth Henley's warm-hearted, irreverent, and zany Pulitzer Prize-winning play, Crimes of the Heart, next month. You'll have three weekends to catch it, but I'll tell you about that in just a moment. First, let's welcome some actors from the show, and it's a show with the three sisters, the McGrath sisters, yes. and they are played by Nicole Swanson and Marianne Schwazer and Karen Brother Brotherton. Yes. <laughs> it's great to have all of you with us today. And you've worked together before, mm -hmm. okay? But you said this is different because you all are carrying the show. It's about the three sisters. Yes. yes that's right. We, um, we've been able to cross paths over the past several years just being involved in the arts community here in Augusta. So to kind of drive this show, the three of us, and sharing this time on stage has been a really nice kind of experience mm -hmm. becoming sisters and, and just working together in general. So. That's, that's neat. And all of you have um, things in common off stage too. You are, you're all mothers. <laughs> yes. We are. <laughs> yes. And I was asking them earlier, you know, gee, how do you balance your, your family and, and the kids? One of you has four kids. That would be and me. <laughs> <laughs> and good for you for still being able to to do things and for the support of your husband. Yeah, I was going to say, we have you. really supportive <laughs> all spouses. We, all three of our spouses are incredibly, well, her spouse is in the show. So, <laughs> <laughs> so how, what does your husband do in the show? Um, he plays one of the other characters. Yeah, she actually plays opposite Marianne. He does. Uh -huh. He's my love interest. Okay. Okay. So, good. You know, it's a good, good thing that Marianne and I are friends. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> is it fun to, to do a show about with this kind of relationship about sisters? And I guess the sisters are all different. Oh, well, you know, I'm one of three girls. I have three girls. So, understanding that triad of sisters <laughs> yes. is, um, and how dynamic and, and different they can each be is... It's a benefit to come from the background from that. But, uh. Well, I think, too, what's really rewarding is Beth Henley, the playwright, she writes this show so well. And mm -hmm. she writes the individual women so well. Mm -hmm. And even though we're from the same family, we are very unique. We each have our own unique characteristics that kind of drive what our problem is in the show, how we're going to, you know, solve everything. And for me, it's incredibly rewarding to have such meat you know, from the dialogue and then working with them, they are so talented and so seasoned that um, it really takes a lot of, I think, you have to really trust the other two. Mm, that's true. Um, for this, there's a lot of um, scenes that, that could be uncomfortable just because you have to be really emotional and kind of mm -hmm. go for things. But they are incredibly talented and wonderful to work with. So is Marianne. <laughs> no. <laughs> is it a, a death or an illness or something that brings the family together? Well, we're all coming back home to Hazlehurst, Mississippi to find out how old Granddad is doing. He's in the hospital again. And so that's again, kind of what, Granddad's in the hospital <laughs> oh, again. Granddad's <laughs> in the hospital again. So that's kind of what unites the family again. And you just see how the different characters and their personalities deal and process with difficult situations that happen in every family. Mm -hmm. Right. There's so much of the what goes on in the story with each character that's so relatable. Mm -hmm. I think anybody that sees a show can find something that they're like, oh yeah, I know what that person is like, or yeah. that person is my aunt, my right. sister, right. My, you know, and, and, or I feel that way with my sisters too. Or, yeah, even yeah. though you may not connect with the circumstances they're facing, you may connect with how they're processing through it or how they're dealing with it or how they're connecting with their family through it. Yeah, and this story really transcends other. generations, I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel like one of the reasons why it is a Pulitzer Prize winner is that she just has a way about really speaking about well, the heart, since the name, mm -hmm. but that it doesn't matter what time period it is, you know, it, it, it's still very relevant today. Is it, is it a comedy or is it a... Well, a dramedy? It <laughs> is. It's, it's a comedy. It's really it does right. deal with difficult situations that come up with your family, and it really is a peek inside their home and what happens around the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. um, but it does it with a, with such like a goofy, zany kind of feel to it that you can't help but cheer for these characters and, uh, and to cheer for their success. And um, 
And it's just a fun show. Yeah. Well, you were also telling me that it's really neat working with Avery, oh, your yes. director, because she she's an actor also. She is, yes. and and you can tell well, the way she directs mm -hmm. us. Um, you can see that she's thinking from our point of view and the best way to get ideas across to us, but to still allow us the freedom to make our mm -hmm. own choices and characterization. She's mm -hmm. very talented as an actor, first of all, but then as a director, like what you were saying, she brings something to the table that I don't know if I've ever really experienced this way. Maybe also because she's a woman and this, this play is very about, you know, very much mm -hmm. about women mm -hmm. issues, but she, she's very specific with what she wants us to do. But then she gives us kind of this wide berth to figure out how, you know, how, how to get there. Right. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't want to do this show under anyone else. That's great. That's really neat. When did you start coming together and start rehearsals? Do you all remember? Um, uh, March? March. Early March? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Early March. <Yeah. laughs> We're all just like, wait a minute. I'm just thinking about That's our busy schedule. Three just, years now. Yeah. <laughs> how do you learn so much material? Well, I walk my son at the park and practice on my lines on him um, in a really goofy little baby voice. <laughs> and so I think we've all kind of just tried, you know, we're all doing this show. This is my first major production since he's coming along. This is Marianne's first major part doing since having of this magnitude this many children <laughs> <laughs> so it's been relearning right it really is and you know we all do musicals as well and and we love that genre but the difference between a musical and, and this type of show is that you don't have as much lines to learn because there's things are told through song and dance and so yeah. there's not as much i mean we each have multiple several page monologues and I think for me, repetition is what's really helped. Yeah. You know, like running the scenes and, and, and being familiar with the physicality. Well, what do I do here? And I have the benefit that my, <laughs> my girls are older and that gives me a little more time to work on it, but right. they're also budding actresses and well, full actresses in their own right. They're all very talented and, and they'll grab me. Can I ever get a scene with you, mom? Can I, uh, let's go do nice. this and you know, if they see that I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, just come sit down, well, Mom. We'll do this. <laughs> well, you, you've got great support at home and yeah. great support with each other. And it's neat that it's a show about women. And our uh, women in the audience, I want you to know when you can catch this at the Fort Gordon Dinner Theater. It's coming up the first three weekends in May, May 5th and 6th. 12th and 13th, and then again on the 18th, 19th, and 20th. The show is called Crimes of the Heart. It is an award-winning show by Beth Henley. And uh, you, you gals have just really made it interesting, and I know that a lot of us are looking forward to catching you in it. So break a leg. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much for having us. Absolutely. Good to meet all of you. We'll be right back.